control the thoughtless You signal just a little to the heartlessness Now trapped in real time Proceed before the landslide And reset the flight time And torch you to the court to the fault line Next, block another trigger Check it by the bigger figure Bullet to the sky and to the back of your eyelids Ensure your flight time is Untrapped in timelessness Block another trigger Check it by the bigger figure Bullet to the sky and to the back of your eyelids Break through the sky time is time lapse of me doing the background uh unfortunately due to the wildfires and everything else that's going on with covid and you know freezing temperatures here none of the shipping vendors could guarantee me uh shipping on time uh even though i tried to ship a week in advance uh nine days so that's ah you know <laughs> um so i'm gonna have to take everything with me on the plane i'm about to start packing everything up and getting it ready to go with me tomorrow uh, but being I did have uh, some extra time, I took the background and I ripped it apart and redid it. And this is the, the final result. It's got a nice, this is, you know, I didn't finish it because I needed to have something to do during the demo. So we're going to add some more twigs and there's going to be lots more uh, root structures. And then this is going to be covered in Ricardia because this will be the highest point. So the finest detail things that kind of like blur together to show a little bit of distance. And it's going to be really nice because it's going to kind of complete uh, the curve that happens with the foreground. And also what I did was I took some of the twigs and I chemically treated them so that they're going to stay white for a lot longer. This back and forth uh, will create the effect of uh, something lighter in the background. And uh, things in the background, of course, are lighter to show distance. So you'll just get a slight feeling that they're the everything's a little bit further behind. It's a nice little piece. It's on a solid piece of Icelandic lava rock, uh, which Ultra Nature Systems also is, uh, supplies. And I really do like this stuff. It's pretty great. Uh, so this is going to be the background piece. And um, yeah, I'll put, you know, I'll have some pictures and 
you know, after the demo, I'll post some pictures. Now the foreground is completely finished and this is what it's gonna look like. It's got the nice angle. It's gonna have a nice reflection because it'll just touch the water. So it'll come up and you'll get a nice reflection and this will come back down. Now, what's nice about this too is it's also on the lava rock, so it's gonna sink immediately, but it's also really solid. And again, this is why I use the thermoplastics. I don't use super glue. I don't really use anything else. I, this is the strongest adhesive. I mean, this stuff, it's not really going anywhere. It's really easy to pack up. When you're doing maintenance, it doesn't fall apart. It's pretty great. And it has such nice grains, and you know, the grains are outlined by the black plastic. So even as the water gets waterlogged, you're still going to see a little bit of the darker shade. So it's really going to feel like, you know, one of those deep barked trees, which I really love. So here we go. Now when it's going to be together, again, we're going to have this curve and then complementing this curve. It's going to go like that. And so there's going to be a little path. I'm still working on my relationship with fish, but ideally you'll see a lot of fish coming and hovering in here, especially if you're using something like CPDs. They're really gonna love to be in here and it's gonna be a great spot that they can observe you and you can observe them. I think uh, one of the big mistakes that a lot of people make is that, especially with fish that like to be sh or a little bit shy, um, they plant these dense areas of plants and they think that the fish are running around. It's, it's not the case. I think. It's, it's dense. The fish don't have a lot of room. They can like wiggle in and wiggle out, but it's not really a good thing for them. I've noticed that the fish get really stressed and aren't happy and aren't, aren't beautiful. And again, that's one of the things that's really, really important. So, and if I'm wrong, somebody please comment, but this has been my experience. I am, I'm not an ichthyologist. I'm an artist. So this is the final hardscape. I'm a big fan. I shortened it a little bit in the front, but also I made this thicker.
Aquarium Club of Pasco County, you are truly, truly beautiful people. Don't ever change. There's a special kind of audience that uh, interacts and is not afraid to interact, and you were definitely that audience. When I was finishing up the hardscape and I asked people to come up to the table, a bunch of you did. They tried or asked good questions about the process. Everybody was just so nice, and I would come back anytime. Why I'm saying thank you is a big shout out to Grant from Garden of Eater. Uh, unfortunately, SeaTac TSA confiscated my plants, and Grant didn't even hesitate. He immediately went into his own stock and replaced all the plants that Ultim Nature Systems had sent me. He was truly the hero of the weekend and also an extremely nice guy. Speaking of nice guys that helped me out, Chance Kramer, that guy is a, is a speed planter. If you're looking for a partner for an aquascaping competition, that is the guy that you want. He was so fast, five times faster than me easily. I don't know if he was happy or not, but I was calling him spider fingers. He just has these long fingers that are just meant for putting plants in soil. Meanwhile, I have short, fat fingers that I struggle with, especially tying things up. He was really, really great. Shelby Brown, thank you for letting me in your house and hanging out. You're also so fantastic. And of course, Brian Covey and Mark, like you guys, made the weekend even more enjoyable. We had a chance to run around everybody in a bog and some springs and I, I really, it was nice. I really needed this weekend. Thank you so much for inviting me. Why I'm giving thanks and shout outs, I'd also like to give a huge shout out to Ultum Nature Systems. Uh, once again, they've uh, sponsored an event and uh, helped me out. Those guys are all really, really fantastic and I really appreciate their support, especially because I'm sure I'm a little bit different. I, I normally you know, ask for everything beforehand instead of having it delivered to the venue. And there's a very good reason for that. It's always very, very heartbreaking for me at events or a speaking engagement where somebody, you know, auctions off the tank and the tank immediately starts getting that white mold on it or some of the other uh, processes that happen when a tank is new with fresh wood. So then them sending me the hardscapes, not only could I make these two videos, but also so that I know that whoever won the auction uh, for the tank, they're going to take it home. They're going to have minimal problems. The wood's already been treated for any kind of mold outbreaks. And it's, it's, it's who I am. I, I, I treat every aquascape that I do like a child. I want it when it goes off into the world to be strong and healthy and not have any problems. So them not even questioning and sending me everything was, was really fantastic and I really appreciate it. The other thing that, of course, is being able to build transportable hardscape is very, very important to me. And you often see in a lot of events, like people build things on site, it takes up a lot of time unnecessary time if you you know if you come prepared it's, it's really important and expedites things you really want this to everything to go smoothly not not to pick on jeff miyoki but he's he's bigger name than me but for instance at aqua shell he created this funky scape it was uh, auctioned off and unfortunately he had to take it apart after uh you know the event was over and the person who won the auction had to take it home and put it back together. Uh, it's just not my thing. I, I want people to literally be able to pick up that tank, take it home and immediately fill it with water and then in a couple of weeks put in fish. So that's just how I operate and I and thank you Ultim for working with me. A little pro tip about also how I work. So, you know, you get these nice tanks and these nice uh, lights and everything. And the first thing that I like to do is I'll actually use packing wrap to line the inside of the tank. And as I'm building uh, the hardscape and putting it in the aquarium and seeing how things interact, it protects the glass. So there's a little pro tip for you. And why do I also do this? This is another really important thing, especially for events. Uh, water refraction is uh, something that's uh, sometimes hard to manage. So you really aren't gonna know how hardscape will look uh, unless you have the lights that you're going to use in the aquarium filled with water, you can have a little bit of a better understanding of how the hardscape is going to interact with the various points of light. Especially if you're using sand, you get a lot of reflection that soften the shadows in the foreground where you want them crisp. So again, all of these things, it's, it's all really, really important to understand uh, the materials that you're dealing with to have uh, the maximum effect for the aquascape that you're doing. So thank you everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know that I also got a bunch of emails uh, asking uh, a more 
detailed description of how I use the thermoplastics and how I build things. I just had a commission come in for a piece of wood and I'm also about to uh, escape a seven gallon aquarium. Um, I'm gonna try to use this stone and I'm not 100% sure yet. But once I get started on these projects, I'll take a couple of minutes and I will make like a five, 10 minute video about how I, I build these things in a little more detail. But trying to stay ethical, you know, uh, this is a sponsored video by Ultim Nature Systems and I've already like deviated enough from to products that they don't sell. So thank you for watching the video and smash that like button, give us a follow on Instagram. And if there's anything else that you'd like me to cover or a topic, uh, just let me know and uh, hit us up at hello at brooklynhardscape.com or comment below. Thank you.